Okay, so what you're looking at here is just some drawings that I made. Two of them are vectors, and one of them is actually a PNG. PNG, bitmaps, JPEGs, they're all basically raster images, a digitalized representation of a photo. A vector is a mathematical formula that, used in the right software, will redraw what you're looking at. So these all look pretty good. Um, I don't know if you can see it with the uh, screen recorder, but this one in the middle is actually the raster or the, the PNG. Even at this close, I can tell it's not as crisp as the monster all the way on the left. But the real big problem is, is when you decide to enlarge things, all of a sudden you see right here on this side how this, uh, this uh, monster in the middle begins to get fuzzy. And the further you go, the worse that gets. But if you notice the monster on the left, staying super sharp. So when people ask you when it comes to designing artwork for um, any type of printing and especially for screen printing or sublimation printing, t-shirt designs, you are always going to be better off using vector when you can get away with it. Now there are certain things that just aren't very easy to replicate with vectors like a, a photo you know quality image so you know that's why we've got our cameras today where they take literally you know 18 to 30 megapixels and that's so that they can record a lot of information and by the time you're done the actual image coming out of a good quality camera is maybe 30 inches by 30 inches so that way you can actually shrink it rather than enlarge it shrinking never really hurts us but growing always can so that's the difference. And so in order to create vectors, we need a vector type software. And that's what we have here with Inkscape. Inkscape is a free software. I created all of these with Inkscape. This one in the middle is actually the first one, but saved as a PNG. And um, so you can create PNGs from your vector software. But for the most part, you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna save your projects in the SVG format which is native to Inkscape and um, maintains all the mathematical formulas and keeps everything so you don't have to worry about it. And all you do is then is, is uh, bring it in, make it the size you want, print it, and then and, you, know, you have the quality and the design you want. So that's enough said about the difference between a vector and a raster image or a BMP or a JPEG or a PNG. Those are all different types of raster images. The differences between those has a lot to do with the compression. That's a whole other subject. We're not going to get into that because we're not going to deal with those. We're going to deal primarily with vector. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.